today, dear students. As you all are aware that the Department of Life Sciences is offering an environmental studies course for all the students of the college, which is, which is very important. The reason which I am telling that it is very important is because students must, must have awareness about the surroundings. So it is also very important that because of human activities, what are the drastic changes that has happened in the environment? Because of the human activities, many of the organisms present in the environment are affected. It is true that not only those organisms are affected, indeed human beings are also affected. We know about many natural disasters which happens, say for example, the natural disaster that happened in Kerala. And there are many natural dis disasters uh, to make a note like, say for example, you have tsunami as well. So these natural disasters happen due to the imbalances in the environment. So when there is an imbalance in the environment, it leads to some natural disasters. And that imbalances are created by human beings. Say for example, if you think of global warming, Human beings are the primary cause of increase of level of greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are those which are responsible for increasing the surface of uh, heat uh, of the earth surface. So the earth surface uh, temperature increases day by day because of the increase in the level of greenhouse gases and we human beings we do the process called as deforestation by cutting out all the trees. Now, please understand a very important greenhouse gas called as CO2, carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide is absorbed by plants, trees. But then by the process of urbanization, we actually do the process of destroying the forest and we build apartments and flats. And because of that reason, you have a drastic increase in the level of carbon dioxide. And because of the increase in the carbon dioxide, you know, you have increase in the level of uh, temperature uh, in the earth surface each day. So this is one example to note down. So in this EVS course, we actually will have a very detailed discussion about the different imbalances created by the human beings and which is going to spoil the environment, which is going to affect other organisms and also, of course, we the human beings are the victims of that. So in this course, we will have uh, the imbalances created and what are the remedial measures to be taken by human beings? What is the responsibility of the students, especially the young generations, to save the environment and make it available for the future generations? Okay, we will never accept if our son 